वेलकम टू ऑल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक डिजाइन ऑफ एफ आई आर डिफ्रेंशिएटर्स डिजाइन ऑफ एफ आई आर डिफ्रेंशिएटर्स फर्स्ट विल डिस्कस द डेफिनेशन डिफ्रेंशिएटर्स आर यूज इन मैनी एनालॉग एंड डिजिटल सिस्टम्स टू टेक द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ अ सिग्नल एन आइडियल डिफ्रेंशिएटर हैज अ फ्रीक्वेंसी रिस्पॉन्स दैट इज लीनियरली प्रोपोर्शनल टू फ्रीक्वेंसी Similarly, an ideal digital differentiator is defined as one that has frequency response as d g omega d for desired, that is proportional to frequency. And for digital frequency, range of frequency will be minus pi to plus pi. Next step is we'll do i d t f t. to find its to find its unit sample response so hdn is equal to 1 upon 2 pi minus pi 2 pi hd j omega e raised to power j omega n d omega this is by formula and putting the values of 1 upon 2 pi minus pi to pi j omega this is replaced by j omega this one e raised to power j omega n d omega and then it can be written as omega e raised to power j omega d omega applying integration by parts that is u v integration of u v with respect to x will result as u integration v dx minus integration d u upon dx integration v dx this is the formula by applying this formula j is here omega e raised to power j omega n upon j n minus e raised to power j omega n upon J n square and minus pi to pi is the limits. Now, now we have two methods to put the limit. First, first putting the higher and lower limit to the first value, then higher and lower limit to the second value. Or you can put the higher limit to all of the value, then lower limit to the all of the value. So putting the value. Our limit that is omega is equal to pi e raised to power j pi n upon j n minus minus pi. Putting the lower limit, okay, e raised to power minus j n pi upon j n. Now putting the higher limit again to the first. Putting this and this, and now putting this and this. Minus e raised to power j n pi upon j n square, and now putting this minus lower limit to the value minus e raised to power minus j n pi j n square. Now we have four values by using. Euler's formula. Euler's formula, which says that e j theta is equal to cos theta plus j sin theta. So e j n pi will be equal to cos n pi plus j 
pi and pi and e raised to power minus j n pi is equal to cos minus n pi plus j sin minus n pi in both the cases this will be equal to 0 so it will become cos n pi and cos minus theta is equal to cos theta so it will become again cos n pi so you can understandably notice that e j n pi is eventually equal to e raised to minus j n pi is equal to cos pi n okay so putting this value in the equation j upon 2 pi pi e raised to power j n pi is equal to cos pi n upon j n minus 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 plus this minus minus plus e raised to power again minus j n pi again it is cos n pi upon j n then minus cos n pi upon j n square and minus minus plus cos n pi is equal to j n square now noticing that last two terms are same but opposite sign so we can cancel it deliberately and we will have these two terms and we can have pi up upon j n common or if you can say it is the same term so two can be multiplied twice of that one so h d n is equal to j upon 2 pi and twice of cos pi n cos pi n pi upon j n pi pi upon j n this is the term and 2 pi is 2 pi is cancelled out by j is j is cancelled out then term becomes cos pi n by n this is our HDN unit sample response of FIR differentiator. Now, as we know that ideal differentiator has an ideal differentiator as an anti symmetric unit sample response that is h d n is equal to minus h d minus n with h d 0 equal to 0 so from now we can have truncating the next step is truncating up to suppose n samples and passing through the window passing through the window and having FIR response okay so these steps these steps are already shown in the last video in designing of FIR filter using rectangular window method okay so thank you for all thank you for the watch thank you for watching